What is the point in being married to a doctor if you are not going to let me help you? <laughs> Last time I checked, you were still a few years shy of opening your own practice. Okay, I don't need to pass the boards in order to check a cut. Now, who did this to you? If you're thinking I got beat up and lost a fight, then uh, you're wrong. I just, I've locked myself out of my apartment. Do not hand me that sad story about how you were climbing down your air shaft again. You got beat up. No, you know there's uh, those action movies where the hero jumps off the building and grabs a fire escape? Yeah, it looks easy, right? Not so much. So you were jumping off your building? No, of course not. Just one of those big rubbish bins, you know, trying to grab the ladder. I missed, obviously, and ate asphalt. And fell on a few fists on the way down? No, they were rocks. You're not fooling anyone. Neither are you. You know, you're trying so hard to pretend like you don't care. But I, I heard what you said about Vegas. Okay, you might not want to bring up that whole eavesdropping thing right now. I am in a position to inflict a lot of pain. What happened in Vegas is something you never would have done. You mean if I was sober? No, you... You had no inhibitions. That's why so many so great. You know, you weren't overanalyzing or worried about who would get hurt. We were just there together, and I, I, I want to get back to that. You did say it was the most fun you'd ever had. <laughs> well, I don't think you were in the condition to have fun at the moment. Well, I would if I was in the right hands. Say, a doctor's. You know, I, uh, I, could, uh, I could work on that bedside manner. So where's Terrell? Uh, he's down in Peach checking out a patient. He should be back soon. Was well, this shadow thing his idea or yours? Mine? Why? I don't know, it just seems weird that he jumped in and helped other patients from the bus crash. He wasn't even on the staff yet. Now that he has got hired, he needs help me showing around the okay, hospital. Okay, don't take it on Terrell just because you got into it I with Lisa. It what with were you Lisa. guys really fighting about? Fight about anything. It sure looked like it. Well, then I need to work on my poker face, don't I? <laughs> well, anything short of slapping her in the face in front of the staff is the picture of restraint. You slapped her for a reason. Maybe, but I wish I hadn't done that. All I did was give her the reaction that she wanted and let her know that her games were getting to me. Well, you've done a really good job keeping professional sense. Not letting her get to you, or at least not showing it. Asking to shadow Robin was a nice touch. The thought of you two spending so much time together is already rubbing Patrick the wrong way. I didn't have to ask. Robin offered. See, I knew that charm of yours wouldn't be wasted on her. You know, you got Robin pegged all wrong. She's a sweet girl, smart, good with her patience. Kind of cute, too. You know, this whole seduction thing isn't going to work if you actually fall for her. Never happened. I'd hope not. How's your patient? Sad case. Seven-year-old with Graves' disease. You know, after we finish rounds, maybe you can take a look at his chart. Give me your thoughts on antithyroid, drug therapy, and REI. But that is if you have time. I know I've been taking up a lot of it lately. Oh, don't, don't feel bad about it. I'm, I'm happy to do it. Lucky, your undercover job in Ireland was your chance to get away and to clear your head about all this Elizabeth stuff. It was my chance to work with Interpol, Lila. It had nothing to do with my personal life. Well, I think the lines of your personal life and your professional life are starting to get blurred. Okay. So what? Look, there were... From the beginning, there were huge gaps in my cover. I needed to fill them with something, so I, I drew from experiences in my own life, and I told Siobhan things that, you know, I haven't shared with anyone, okay. not even Elizabeth. What's the big well, deal? Well, you were vulnerable then, and you're vulnerable now, and considering marrying someone to help them get their green card is a very big whoa, mistake. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not considering anything, okay? Now, look, Siobhan, she, she went to <laughs> Diane's office and spoke to a lawyer about extending her work visa. He's the one who brought up a green card marriage. She, she shot it down right away. Well, good! 
I'm, it's not that I don't want you to be happy. That's not... Right. You just don't think that I would be happy with Siobhan. Is that what you're saying? I think getting this serious about anyone is a bad idea. Why, why are you doing this? Lucky, healing from having your heart broken takes time. Caring too much too fast about anyone is a huge mistake. I don't want to keep addressing the, uh, the issue of your temper tantrums. Please, just tell me what you want. I understand that Lucky's father is a close friend of Sonny Corinthos. You want information on Luke? I want you to quit interrupting me. As an old friend, Lucky and the entire Spencer family will be invited to Brenda Barrett's upcoming wedding. You'll be there as Lucky's date. What if he's planning on going? Persuade him. I want your eyes and ears at the ceremony when I take my revenge on Brenda. There are several credible studies that show that music can cut down on recovery time. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure they weren't talking about the music on your playlist. Uh, wind chimes and waterfalls have their place, but the, the goal with this is to get the patient on their feet, so why not give them something to dance to? I actually can't argue with that logic. How about you, Doc? You think music speeds up the recovery process? Patrick does not operate unless there's some kind of music blaring in the background. It's not my music that saves the patients, it's my skill, and I'd be happy to show you in your graves, kid, if you need. Actually, um, Robin made a compelling case for giving the REI drug protocol a chance. Yeah, and Terrell agreed. I have to say, it is nice having a doctor around that doesn't think every problem can be solved with a scalpel. Have you seen Lisa? Why? We have a surgery tomorrow morning. I wanted to go over with her before I left. Dr. Gross Bard. I thought you were on until 6. I have something to do across town. So you just happened to get an anonymous tip about a prostitution ring happening at the same place Michael's friend works? I wasn't aware that Michael had friends who were strippers, and I doubt his parole officer is either. This is about you trying to get back at Sonny, right? You, you want to take this to the judge and threaten to revoke Michael's parole so that Sonny can make a deal, right? You know, it's so much for that favor, okay? Why don't you check out the new lawyers? Yeah, I don't, I don't need you to do me any favors. I just don't want you using Michael to get to Sonny. I was acting on a tip. It was a legitimate bust. Did, did you catch her with a John? There were a lot of girls working, okay? How can I be sure which ones were doing more than wow, so stripping? She, she might even be in it then? Well, who is it in your book? Hey, I heard a couple of girls from Vaughn's were picked up. What's the matter? You looking for a lap dance, Shani? What are you offering? I made a post at bail. Wait, are we friends of yours? They're employees. I'm the majority owner of the club. Well, Dante's gonna get this all straightened out. You're gonna be out of here in no time. Not the best first impression, you know, being dragged in wearing this outfit. And you got nothing to be ashamed of. Still, it's humiliating. I am so sorry that you had to see any of this. Right, well, at least I'm here now to make sure you get treated all right. You know, solicitation is a misdemeanor, but promoting prostitution can be charged as a felony. DA's discretion. So I'm guessing you'll be sharing a cell block with your wacky father real soon. These girls are paid to dance. As far as I know, that's all that goes on. <laughs> you know, you think you're so untouchable. Give me a break, Johnny. Really. Bigger names than you have been brought down. Okay, all it takes is one text message or some woman looking to sell her story. I'm sure the Port Charles Herald would probably pay a pretty penny to see the inside life of Johnny Zakara. Pimp and mob prints. Then again, so might the prosecution. Oh. Where do I post bail? <laughs> no charges have been filed yet. There's uh, paperwork that needs to be filled out, though. Michael in some sort of trouble. No. You're free to go. Yeah, I told you Dante would take care of everything. It's not over. This is an ongoing investigation. You're gonna have to come back and, and handle some more questions, probably. I, I have nothing to hide. That's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry we had to meet under these circumstances. Yeah. Daddy, do you want me to drive you home? It was a dreary kind of morning. The rain was coming down in buckets. 
blah, blah, blah. Boring. Port Charles gets a different kind of rain. It's not the bluesy southern kind they see in New Orleans or Memphis. The kind that makes you want to sit on your front porch with a bowl of grits. With a bowl of cheese grits until you remember exactly why your wife left and ain't never coming back. Is Spinelli here? Uh, no, he's off on uh, PI business and I'm just um, using his state of the art. Do you know when he'll be back? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Carly? Are you all right? Is there something you'd like to talk about? I have to stop Sonny and Brenda's wedding. I mean, if they get married, it'll be a disaster for everyone. Brenda will fall to pieces, which will destroy Sonny, and it will hurt all of his children, and no one seems to care. Even Jason is willing to stand by and let all of this happen. Tissue? I need help from someone who totally understands what's at stake. Max, I, I don't care if Brenda could hear every word I say, okay? Do not talk to her about Michael. It's none of her business. If Brenda starts butting in, Carly's gonna go absolutely crazy. Oh, I gotta go. cold. I have triumphed. Did I know one get a the jackal not even the pernicious? Probably deceased Jerry Jacks. Did you find something on I Jerry? I succeeded where Interpol is built. In okay, fact, I succeeded Spinelli, what did you find? Is the divine one here? She might... She might want to know about this. No, Max took her to see Sonny. What did you find? Is Stone Cold warm to the idea of a divine one, Mr. Sir Wedding? I, yeah, I want Brenda out of here, so I want Sonny to marry Brenda, but a, a big wedding isn't safe. Alas, I fear physical dangers may be the least of her worries. Ethan? Maya? To kiss and make up yet? crazy Lisa Niles is or maybe you just don't care but she's been terrorizing my family for months now going as far as kidnapping my daughter and trying to kill my wife she's gone away with everything and somehow she's managed to keep her job at General Hospital Johnny I knew that she handed off the syringe to you that night that she tried to drug Robin and I'm guessing you still have it using it as leverage or something but I need that syringe I need that piece of evidence that's going to bust Lisa and end this once and for all. Whoa, 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 back up. Now, how does a girl who studied at the Sorbonne become a fan of funk? <laughs> well, actually, my high school boyfriend, Stone, he had a lot of friends in the record business, and he was the one that got me into good music. What was your first concert? Ugh, Eddie Main and the Idol Rich. Stone, he was working the concert as a favor, and he got his tickets, and... We had a great time. You still keep in touch? Uh, no. <laughs> Stone died uh, of AIDS. Dr. I'm sorry? Your cardiology. Dr. Might as well get this out of the way now. Cardiology. Um, I'm HIV positive. The Divine One has had several failed attempts at matrimonial bliss. I think she views this ceremony as an opportunity to get it right. But I, I fear that if Mr. Sir and the Divine One get married, nothing but heartbreak will follow. Okay, if you're worried about that, why would you hire a wedding planner? Well, I was following your advice to be supportive. And I, I think in my heart of hearts I was thinking that if uh, the continued presence of the Balkan would put the nuptials on hold. But now that there's evidence that points to Jerry and the Balkan being one and the same, there's no excuse whoa, whoa, for the wedding. What evidence? As plant Stone Cold, this will not end well for the Divine One. You have to stop the Forget wedding. Forget about the wedding. What and if you don't stop the wedding, the Valkyrie most certainly will. Brava. Your technique is truly a thing to be marveled at. I don't 
don't think there's a jury in the world that would not be swayed by your sentiment, no matter how phony it may be. I open a vein and you mock me? That's nice. Oh, the canned indignation is really unnecessary because, you see, I know when I'm being worked. So why don't you just save us both a lot of time and trouble and just tell me what you want. Okay, you know how Jason's always telling me to mind my own business and to stay out of it? <laughs> he and Sonny seem to have the phrase on repeat. Yeah, I didn't listen. Oh, really? Well, color me surprised. Is there a point to this story? Well, that depends. Is this conversation covered by attorney-client privilege? Yes, you are covered by Jason's very generous retainer. Okay, great. Well, well... I I may have bent a few laws obtaining this information, which proves that Dante and Brenna only slept together, but they had a child. Which means Sonny will be marrying the mother of his grandchild. I need help getting my hands on a legitimate copy of this proof, and that's where you come in. You want me to help you blow Sonny and Brenda's wedding apart? I'll try not to take it personal. Uh, what? Well, I left you a message. Uh, it seems like hours ago now. Oh, I'm sorry, I was, I was busy doing stuff and then you said it wasn't important, so... Well, I said it was personal. It doesn't mean it's not important. Okay, well, I'm, I'm here now. Yeah, and I should be happy, because, uh, you know, we couldn't be in the same room a little while ago. And, uh, I thought we'd be in a better place by now, but, I, but I, I do believe we're making some progress. I know it's never going to be easy like it is with me and Michael. Here's, I know I'm rambling, so here's the deal. Michael suggested that uh, I ask you to stand up with me at my wedding. Well, that's... Uh... I was expecting. So I'm asking you if you would be, well, if you want to be my, my best man. It means a lot that you would ask me to do that. But I'm sorry, I can't. 